Welcome to Fred Achando Analysis, ladies and gentlemen. Kenyans are searching for Raila's daughter, Win Yudinga, and she is actually trending at number one. The reason why Winnie is trending is because of the photo that you see on your screens. Apparently, there was a little bit of a spat between Winnie Odinga and a former Raila close ally called Silas Jakakimba. Silas was a young man who Raila relied on politically. He worked in uh, Raila's office, I think, as a political advisor. These are the young men and women who have helped Raila Odinga over the years. But for some reasons, their relationship have become lukewarm or they are just running away. Right, uh, Silas was so close to Raila, so much that at some point he was uh, rooted to vie for to vie as a Langata member of parliament. He chickened out at the last rate, and that is why Jalango was voted in. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if you check that photo very clearly, I can see Silas there laughing. There is a uh, Silas is the one who is at the far left. Gladys Wanga, who is the governor of Homer Bay, is there. And so, on the, uh, on the first value, there is nothing wrong with that photo. But Silas is reporting something about that photo that even makes it more, more of an issue. Let us read together. Because Silas is saying that when Udinga used an F word on me last night, for what she termed betrayal in lieu of my cover photo. What she fails to appreciate, we respect Jacob, done half of the years of my life and him. And if she cares to know, we've had to had fairness via invincible sacrifices to that cadre of loyalty. What was happening is that when uh, Silas Jakakimba shared that as his cover photo, and of course, you know, in politics, everything is done to meet a particular goal. So Winnie watched that photo and decided to tell him something like fuck off, something of the kind. That's why she's, he's saying that Winnie Odinga used an F word. It does not end there. I think Silas was really read. And he goes on to say, it is imperative moving forward that Winnie learns to respect people for who they are, if not least for what they've been in a long journey of several lows and countable highs for the love of the country. So Silas did not take it kindly. And uh, you can see him lamenting that they have been with Jacom and is saying that Jacom here uh, is Raila Odinga and is saying that he has done half of uh, his years being with Raila Odinga and in those years that they work together they sacrifice in fact he is using the term a term here that uh, we've had to had fairness via invincible sacrifices to that kind of loyalty had funnies. So, I want you to judge for yourself because this is what is um, trending because Silas uh, shared it again and people are reacting to it. Of course, the Kenya Kwanza team are full of criticism and uh, those of uh, the Azimio are saying that there's nothing wrong with it. But I want us to go deep into what is happening, ladies and gentlemen. Because as I told you, on the first value, it is okay. You don't see anything wrong with it. But I will tell you, Silas is one person who has been with Raila because he confesses half of his life. He's, uh, I think he's 40 something, if I'm not wrong. So let's say that he has been with Raila for over maybe like 20 years or something. That means they worked very closely with Raila Molloding, whether it was in... Uh, the orange house or something. And Winnie knows very well that Silas has got a lot of secrets 
pertaining that party because it was uh, Silas was very close to Raila Odinga. And I thought when Odinga felt that this was betrayal. As I said, when you share a cover photo, you want people to see it. You, you all know that whenever you are sharing a cover photo, you want people to see it and you want people to react to it. So we thought this is the height of betrayal. This cover photo, as I said, you see Wanga, but it doesn't raise eyebrows that Wanga was there because the picture that is uh, uh, the Wanga there, I think that was the time when either Ruto was in Bigori or something on, in, and in Homa Bay. But when you see two people who have worked close to each other like that, it means we knew Dinga knows something. It is coming at a time when people are in a political battle, so to speak, when Raila has declared that he does not recognize President William Samuel Ruto and his, uh, the, the legitimacy of the president. And so for someone who has worked with Raila Molo Dinga in one office to come and share a cover photo as if he's bragging, this was political. And I think Queen Odinga just decided that, no, I can't take it anymore. And that is why he, she released that bombshell. In politics, you need a few people who are loyal than many who are betraying you. There is one thing I like about Jalango. Jalango went and met uh, the, the current member of uh, Langata. He went to State House and met William Samoy Ruto. And from what we hear is that when William Ruto called him, he did not know that it was going to, to, to make a lot of news. Unfortunately, when he arrived in State House, he found out that there were other MPs because William Ruto is, uh, is very cunning. He called them one by one without telling them that you're coming to meet so and so. So Jalango, that photo of course went round, went round because it was meant to meet certain political goals. So Jalango came back and tried defending himself and he realized that this is not working. And so he came out and said, I can't apologize. I would have gone there even if Raila had uh, objected. So sometimes it is good utangazim simamo. You just say, I want to work with William Samuel Ruto. Because when you declare you want to work with William Samuel Ruto, you, you know that Zemio will know where to place you. This manner of politics and this kind of uh, ping pong games have been played before. You remember Ababu Namwaba when he wanted to contest the Secretary General. William Ruto had a hidden hand in him because Ababu was going around campaigning with choppers and then, then Raila realized something is cooking here. Malala, just before the last elections, there were several rumors that they were, he was meeting William Ruto at night, but he, he kept on denying some of these things. So the day when Azamir decided that they were meeting in Buhungu Stadium, and I think William Ruto now told him, now you have to come out. And he also organized for a parallel rally in Mumia's stadium. So these things do happen. When you see someone who has worked with you, who has worked for you, your ally, your friend, giving a cover photo with your political competitor, political nemesis. He wants to show you that I recognize William Ruto as the president. Because just today, the Kisumu Senator Tom Ojenda came out and said that he recognizes the legitimacy of President Ruto and so he wants to work with him. So Raila does not take it kindly. And of course, you know that Winnie will not take it kindly too. I want to say this, ladies and gentlemen. We need to tone down the political rhetorics. You don't have to provoke people. I'm one person who believes that if you want to work with President William Ruto, you go and work with him. If you know very well that you are elected on an ODM ticket or WIPA uh, or Jubilee, but after sometimes you realize that you admire the policies of William Ruto, you admire UDA, you admire the way they pay, play their politics, do the most honorable thing. Resign from your party. And if you believe that your people love you, uh, love you and they can re-elect you, go and seek fresh mandate under the UDA party. Yeah, it's, it's simple because I, I don't believe in trying to coerce people to work together. This is like a marriage. 
you cannot live with a lady or a man in the same house if you are not compatible even the bible says that can two people work together unless they agree it takes two to tango ladies and gentlemen this is the reason why this is happening. And let me tell you something. Before you criticize so much, even William Ruto himself sometimes back denied Alfred Keter a UDA ticket because Alfred had been a critic of William Ruto. And so all these are politics. We just need to try and uh, lower down, tone down the rhetorics because we are at a very precarious situation. Kenya is facing one of its most difficult political turmoils. And anything that can fuel tension is something that we really, really need to avoid. But do not provoke. It is like going into a Zimi rally and you start shouting Ruto. Or you go to a UD rally and you start shouting Raila. You know the consequences because politics is a very emotive game, ladies and gentlemen. And so you judge for yourself. I don't know whether Silas was right, whether he was wrong. I don't know whether Winnie was right or he was wrong, or both or none. I don't know. You will judge for yourself. But that is the reason why Winnie Dinga is actually trending. And I know this conversation will continue.